I wish I had $35 million. I wouldn't be here right now. No, no, I'd still hang out. Anyway, you I'd would be here. Be here. You'd be I'd hanging be here, out with Harry. us, Harry. Come on. Come on. I, I would, but I would share Jeez. the wealth. I would share the wealth. I want you to yeah, know we could know. split it three ways, all right? Uh, look, it's not much of a surprise that a lot of money was raised because the fact is interest in Donald Trump, once the verdict came down, has been through the roof. So these are Google searches for Donald Trump. Look at this. At the time of conviction, up 3,200 and 33 percent from versus the hour before the conviction took place yesterday. You do not need to be a mathematical wizard to know that this number is extremely high. And, you know, throughout this trial, we really have not seen the interest from the American public in this trial. It's been sort of low on the list of uh, most important issues. But when the conviction actually came down yesterday, the interest went through the roof. And I think that's part of the reason why, of course, you saw that mega money being drawn in by the former president. <clears throat> Donald Trump has uh, raised over $50 million in 24 hours following. I'm sorry, I had an eyelash in my eye. Goodness gracious. In the 24 hours following um, the conviction, $50 million from regular folks like you and I. And 30, I believe 30% of those donations were new donors. People who had never donated before. I think Democrats royally messed up. And I want to show you guys this video clip or several, a couple video clips of, uh, it's called The Breakfast Club, you know, with Charlemagne. Uh, we've checked out Charlemagne in the past several times. Um, it's his, uh, well, his and uh, DJ Envy and I forgot the new host that they have on there, but it's. One of the biggest, you know, predominantly black uh, radio uh, stations or whatever, the Breakfast Club radio shows, right? Actually, it probably is like the most, probably is the biggest, right? Um, where a lot of black people tune into. Um, and I want you guys to listen to what some of the folks had to say because they, they held a, they had a segment where they allowed people to call in and voice their opinions on uncle trump and i want you to hear what these folks have to say because now remember these are probably black folks more than likely black people because a lot of black people tune in to the breakfast club i've never met a black person who didn't know what the breakfast club was right the show i used to watch it my darn self a few years ago i haven't watched it in quite some time uh, but I want y'all to hear what they have to say. It is quite interesting. Like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button if you are new. And let's dive in. Good morning, morning. brother. Peace, TK. What up, Charlamagne? What up, Jeff? What up? What's your thoughts, brother? Well, I'm going to tell you, man. I feel like Trump's out there dirty. And I don't trust the system at all. You know what I mean? Um, especially being through the system. I'm the same one that called yesterday about that dog situation. So it's like after you've been railroaded by this system and you see that when you walk in the courtroom, they want you to be guilty. You're going to be guilty. I don't got no trust in that process at all. You know what I mean? I rock with Trump. I feel like that he um he way better than Biden. You know, Biden, I can't stand him. Biden the devil, man. Biden the same one. Y'all remember them policies from the 90s? I know y'all got family members that was victim of that. Uh, the, 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 the eighty six, the eighty six mandatory minimum sentencing, eighty eight uh, crack laws, ninety four crime bill. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay. Well, thank you, TK. Cool. And went away behind that nonsense. And so, how can anybody black vote for Biden? The antics that those people take, he going to black cookouts all of a sudden. He doing all this stupidness. It's like a slap in the face. I respect Trump because at least Trump real. But, but real, he, but might, you, he, gonna, he might sound stupid. He's not articulate. Whatever. My quality of life was better under Trump. We didn't have all these problems at the border under Trump. We didn't have none of this going on. But I do think well, Trump, Trump is a narcissist, and I think he's going to be in a position where he is going to be his way or the highway. I think he's going to go on a revenge tour if he does, and I don't think he necessarily listens to opinions. I think he does what he wants to do, and I don't think that's a great thing for the country can, as well, though. Can I ask you a question, sir? You know, we we, we talk about yeah. the policies that uh. Uh, the President Biden implemented in the late 80s and the 90s, you know, very racist policies that impacted our community. But you also got to think about a lot of the racist things that President, I mean, not, well, he wasn't the president then, but President Trump did in the 90s, you know, whether it was what he was doing with his 
uh, his, his tenants, right? Well, not letting what, black people stay in some of his yeah, buildings. Yeah, mm-hmm. whether it was what he did with the Central Park Five by taking that out, out taking the paper, that out like, on the paper. He's yep. showing racism too. So when you're talking about two white men, they both racist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, but look at but look at the difference. Look at one of these racists made policies that actually affected lives. That mess what Trump had going on. His buildings, his his talking about the Central Park Five. That had nothing to do with life. That so, that was small. And you know. <clears throat> I don't buy the whole the whole tenants thing. I don't think that had anything to do with anybody being a certain race because you guys remember uh, I showed you guys the uh, video of the black homeless woman who was living in Trump Tower for free, for completely free. Trump has never talked about it, never bragged about it, never said anything. She made a video herself and released it, right? Because she had been staying in Trump Towers for for years for for free, three meals a day. Fresh flowers every single week, completely free, right? A black woman. I showed y'all the video. So uh, I don't think it had anything to do with race. And before before Trump ran for president and, and, and won, nobody was talking about him being a racist. Nobody was saying any of this stuff. He was in videos and pictures with Muhammad Ali and Rosa Parks and uh, uh, Jesse Jackson. He campaigned for Jesse Jackson. Jesse Jackson brought him out on the campaign trail. Matter of fact, I think I showed y'all that clip too. So this 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 raving racist was amongst all these black folks. How many videos or pictures or images have you ever seen where Biden was hanging out with black folks where it wasn't a photo op? And it wasn't around election time, right? How how many videos? How many? Let me know. Trump went on to a, a radio station with um, G Unit, who was a they were you know, a, a, a really big rap group with 50 Cent. So I know a lot of you have probably heard of the name, the rapper 50 Cent, right? He doesn't rap anymore, at least not really anymore. He, he had, um, um, what was the, what was the, uh, uh, vitamin water, vitamin water. Uh, he sold it now, but 50 Cent was one of the big investors in vitamin water. He was promoting that for a while. Um, uh, Trump went on to a radio station with some of the guys, Guys in the group. It was having a great time. When, when have you ever seen Biden do anything like, like that? In this video, that I'm, the video that I'm talking about is from years ago, before anybody ever thought about Trump being a president or anything. Like It's, it's a very old clip. I, I would guess from like the early 2000s or something, you know, uh, 2005-ish time period, if I had to guess, right? So... This whole narr- this whole narrative of Trump being a racist it's, a- it's absolutely bogus, absolutely bogus. Now it's believable that Biden is right. He's the guy that called black kids roaches. He's the guy that called black people super predators. He's the guy that said if you don't vote for me, then you ain't black. He's the guy that gave the eulogy at the KKK member's funeral. That's that's Biden, Biden, right? Not Trump. And that, and that's the whole thing. Like people bring up the same instance as well of the uh, Central Park Five. Oh, Trump! Trump took out an ad. Blah blah blah. That had nothing to do with them being black. They just happened to be black. A lot of people were angry about that situation, and rightfully so. That doesn't mean he's racist because the guy took out an ad against against uh, 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 some black folks. Like, oh, all the, now he's racist. <laughs> but Joe, like, come on now, stop it with the nonsense. The same two instances they always bring up. And trust me, if y'all ever start having conversations with Democrats, which I encourage you to, I have them all the time. Um, it is frustrating, but you got to be patient. Keep your cool. It is annoying. And like the Trump derangement is on a, is, is at an all time high. But keep your cool because it's not going it, to you're not going to get anywhere if you lose your cool and y'all start yelling. And been there before. <laughs> I just got frustrated with somebody and just we just start shouting back and forth. And yeah, it didn't go anywhere um it was all love at the end of the conversation but yeah we we didn't we didn't make it anywhere <laughs> okay but um yeah if you ever start having conversations with democrats um those are the two things that they're always going to bring up central park five and then the whole tenant situation they always bring that up every time every single time like clockwork you start talking about Biden being racist those are the two things that they're going to bring up so yeah anyway Let's let's jump back in. That's so, small. So but you when you look at Biden small. making actual policy. Oh no, I, I, people, I, I'm with you. Right. But now this person that was racist in the '90s is going to potentially be president of the United States of America. 
he wasn't racist in the 90s and you just you they just said that biden is racist so you want him he's president now you want him to be president again because that's your excuse for not having trump as president because he's racist so you want biden to be president again that doesn't make any sense. So you don't think that he's going to implement policies that will be racist? I'm just asking questions. I'm just playing white devil's advocate. No, oh, okay. not at all. Not at all. Because because when Trump was in office, I didn't have the problems I have now at nice. all. I don't think it was ever about a black and white with Trump. It's definitely about a black and white with Biden. Facts. Okay. All right. I'm just so true. So true, man. I love that people called in to the Breakfast Club and gave him a peace of mind on uh the truth about all of this going on absolutely love it and like i said that is a predominantly black radio show that you just had somebody call into to say that so like what, what my, my point is when you have stuff like this happening you know we're winning you know we're winning and when you have democrats uh, uh, that desperate to get this one man, oh, we're going to convict him on 34 counts when they couldn't even really name a crime. And then the judge said, you don't have to agree on a crime. Y'all could all disagree on what it actually was. Just as long as you believe that he was trying to, uh, commit a crime in the process of doing, <laughs> there's so many things that, that were just absolutely bogus. And, um, and even in one of the videos, uh, I even said this isn't about getting a correct conviction. They don't care that this is going to get thrown out uh, uh, on appeal. They don't care. That's not the point. The point is to throw dirt on Trump's name. And I knew that when Stormy Daniels was talking about, you know, uh, different stuff that had nothing to do with it. Like Trump wearing a condom or the, the robe that he wear and he was pressed up on her and she felt like passing out or whatever. And even, even Bill Maher called her out on it. Like, come on now. Like, you know, it's a sham when you're talking about stuff that has nothing to do with the case, right? You're bringing that stuff up. And also the judge is allowing you to continue on with stuff that has absolutely nothing to do with the case. They don't care about it getting thrown out on appeal. The whole point was just to throw dirt on Trump's name and to get him convicted, right? And they know that an appeal is going to take time. And by the time an appeal actually goes through and happens, it's going to be after the election. So doesn't really matter. <laughs> doesn't matter at all. But I think it's going to backfire on them anyway. I don't think they were prepared for something like this. As Donna Brazil said, we've never seen anything like this. This is something that we may never see in politics ever again who knows but um i'm here for it i'm here for it <laughs> i can't wait till november baby when we make some jaws absolutely drop absolutely drop when we make jaws drop across this country from 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 these democrat devils right man i can't i can't wait to watch them scream i can't wait uh, uh, uh. anyway Y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.